Alrighty, hey folks. Ah, I'm getting better at this, but I still probably could have just had, uh, I don't know, my desktop app, something. I don't need those. I got those. Um, oh, I needed to put, needed to put text down in OBS. Oh well, I'll do that later. Um, the ooh, wrong mouse. Uh, so actually, here I can do this. Um, I do that. Watch so I can leave this up here just as a message about what we're doing. I can drop this. I'm still figuring all this stuff out. Um, I can actually close Spotify. We're not using Spotify. Got my command line. We'll leave that down. Uh, font sizes are going to be tricky. Okay. Uh, I have the font size a little bit, so we'll see what happens. Um, so what we're doing is uh, I've got a uh, problem that I'm working on where there's a piece of software we use called Altrix that um, writes data into databases, like a, an Amazon Redshift database, for example. We use um, multi-factor authentication at work, and the Altrix system doesn't have multi-factor authentication capabilities yet. Um, maybe they're going to add that. Uh, feature request, guys, or folks, sorry. Um, the, but we, um, let me do this. Uh, this. So I work on a Mac, and I've, I've, I've written some, some Python code to, um, to make that happen, because in Altrix you can put in a Python module, um, or you can make a module and drop Python code into it. So I believe I can make this work. Um, but in order to do this, I need to install Altrix and actually be able to test it. And I don't have uh, a Mac, so I don't have a Windows machine. Well, I do have a Windows machine, but uh, my Mac is my go-to machine. So that's where I do all my development work. Um, so what I want to do is uh, fire up a virtual machine with Windows in it that I can use to actually do the testing and the development, or the development and the testing with Altrix. Um, so, and what, I, what I'm gonna try is uh, launching cloud-based Windows machine from AWS Workspaces. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, and I need to hide that so it's not in the corner of my eye, thank you. Um, so I've already, yeah, fonts are gonna be a trick. Um, well, that blew out, didn't it? Uh, so Amazon has these workspaces. I actually didn't know that I had that link there. Um, that you can get to, like, so I'm logged in with Amazon for my, um, uh, actually just let me re-verify one second. Oh, that doesn't work. Like I know that I just did this, but just because we're here, I'm gonna start and just re-verify that I'm on the right account. Oh yeah, of course it says it up at the top, cool. Um, Greenfield, Alan Smith. That's exactly what I needed to see. Uh, so Amazon has workspaces. And what these are is basically <laughs> desktops in the cloud, um, virtual machines in the cloud. Um, and I've used one of these before, but it's been a little while. So, and I th this should be super quick, I think. Um, uh, Set up password, yeah, so select word saves button and set up users. Set up users, start using the Amazon workspaces. Okay, yeah, sounds super simple. So get started now, let's do it. Uh, On-premises directory and existing AWS VPC. Ooh, so I don't know. All right, I'm gonna try this. So I need for this machine to be able to talk to the Redshift database that I've set up in this cluster, or a Redshift cluster that I've set up in this account. Um, I'll see if I can do it off the quick setup. We may have to do this twice. Uh, and this is cool. So standard PC, maximum 50 feet word spaces, Windows 10. What's the difference? One CPU, four gigs of memory. Uh, I don't know why standard is more than value, or is two. I mean, I guess it's worth three. So, and performance, free tier eligible. Uh, so, oh, what did it? 
Standard. Oh, so it tries to give you a Linux one to start with. That's fine. Whatever. Um, I just want to see this free tier eligible. Where do we see what that is? Uh, all right. It's these things don't cost very much, so we'll see what it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bump up to the performance one because it is free tier eligible as well. So we'll see what that does. Uh, let's see. Performance windows. Okay, username. Whoops. All right, I'm gonna do this next part over there just so I don't flash my email address, um, which I've probably done 10 times already. So, but I'll just to not do it anymore, if at all possible. Except that that window doesn't work. There we go. Um, I should really create, uh, that's something I should do. Ah, okay. Um, So I keep this list of ideas to do um, on Twitch and just in general. Set up email in AWS that you can use for testing. That way I can actually set up an email address and just do it for this kind of stuff and then just have it and then not deal with it for any other time. Um, so, oops, too many mice, too many mice. Where'd he go? So I'm just putting in my email address. And then there's a button down there that says launch here, actually. see that earlier. So just when I put in my email address, there's a launch workspaces and it says it'll launch in, in one feet. So uh, I'm going to put in my email address and I'm going to launch workspaces. All right. So I'm going to go back and forth on this a couple times just because I don't know what it's going to show. Um, workspaces being launched. With the following users, once workspace is available, you get an email about it. So I think this takes like five minutes. Um, or more about advanced options for workspaces console. I'm going to go off the workspaces console for one second. Seems to be long. Oh, it may take up to 20 minutes. So that's kind of a bummer. So it's 310. Uh, here, we can bring this up. Yeah, so it may take up to 20 minutes to launch one. And so I think that's the first time you launch it. Um, we'll see, because you can basically. What these things give you is virtual machines in the cloud. Um, and they give you a neat little interface that you can use with it. Um, so it, like Amazon just has a piece of software that you load on your machine that talks to that virtual machine and gives you just a window and it looks like you're just working straight on the machine. Um, like I said, I've used them once before. Uh, I've never really messed with them. Um, so this will be the first thing. Sorry, guys. Offering new license certificates. WSP beta protocols available. Huh, should not be used for production workloads. Okay, well, we won't use it. Um, bundles, images, IP access controls, all kinds of good stuff here. Uh, package. I want to see where the pricing is. All right, hang on a second. Hmm, okay, yeah, so this is showing 
under the directory, it's making an active directory. But there's all kinds of stuff in here. Well, there's some IP addresses in here that I'm not going to show. I mean, I'm assuming it's secure, but um, I mean, I'm sure it's secure, but there's no reason to flash the IP address. Uh, so we will not be flashing the IP address if at all possible, if, unless I'm goof. Um, Uh, just looking to see what else is in here. Packages, usage, building your catalog. This all keeps going to the same thing. Subscriptions, nope. Um, AWS workspaces, pricing. So we're just gonna wait. Um, I'll go check my email address here in a minute, actually do this. stuff in there but I should not look at my email right now um because that's would be super boring uh all right let's see what we got yeah so this video is also gonna be super boring so I wonder if I should actually I guess I'll cut it and then I don't know I could edit this I'm, I'm trying not to have to edit the videos too much but maybe I'll edit this one um So what I should have done, or what would have been good, was actually to have read through all this stuff so I could just walk you through it real quick. Um, we're offering Amazon workspaces for up to 50 users at no charge for new workspace customers. For how long? Uh, but free tier, free tier provides standard bundle workspaces with 80 gig, root and 50 gig user volumes running in auto stop mode for up to 40 hours of combined use per month for two calendar months from the time you created these okay if you exceed the free tier you'll be charged a standard amazon right okay um so it sounds like you i've got two months of free trial um as long as I don't go over 40 hours a month or whatever, which I'm, it's, I'm not gonna do. So here's here's the pricing on this stuff, um, which I don't have my own Windows license, so I'm just doing the Windows bundle. Um, what did I do? I did performance. So yeah, it's, I forget which one of, the, one of these I did. These all look the same. Oh, it's the size of the volume. Um, it was probably, well, they said 80 and 50, so is it this one? Um, or that one. I'm... Oh, okay. So you pay you pay a per month price, and then you pay a per hour price. Okay. So if you need to do some Windows development, like I put virtual machines on the Mac before, and it's not great. Um, I mean, it's kind of fine, but like I just don't. I, I'm not a fan. Um, some of it bogs down, some of it just seems a little bit weird and like, I don't know, something about it just doesn't feel like it's totally working right. I mean, it is, but I don't know, it's not. But I, I really kind of like this idea of the of the cloud stuff so that I can actually not, and then the other, well, so the other trick is, and I actually just had to do this, um, I was downloading a bunch of photos and videos on my phone and I was about to run out of space because I had a, I had a Windows 10 virtual machine on my box that was 65 meg gig. Um, so I just freed up. Yeah. So this is great. So I just, I, and I had to delete it cause like I was going to run out of space and like, I've got a backup of that virtual machine somewhere, but like, it's really nice to not have to take up the space. I, that hadn't even super thought through that. Um, the, uh, 
so yeah, so that's it. Um, I don't know. This will be super boring. Uh, actually, I don't even know if it's worth putting this one up. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to sit here and play around until it shows up. Uh, still not there. What we did, it was like 310. Um, but anyway, so I think what happens, if I remember right, is you actually get an application that you download that's kind of tied into the, the Windows machine. And uh, it's its own thing. It's a, it's a Mac app. Uh, but then you can start and stop the Windows machine. And so I think you can start and stop it much faster. So like it's, it's building it right now. Um, and we'll see, if, we'll see if this is right. But um, once it's built, uh, you can then just do start and stop it at, at, your, at your whim. Um, and we'll check and see how long it actually takes to start up. Like we'll shut it down. And it's got this auto stop. Um, so I think that's basically says if you're not using it for some period of time, uh, it, it shuts itself down. Um, go back to the review a second. Desktop as a service. Guessing they got to make that term up. Um, here, why not watch a video while we wait? Amazon workspaces are secure managed cloud desktops that make it easy for users to access applications, documents, and resources from anywhere on any supported device. You can provision Windows or Linux desktops in minutes to deliver on the promise of bring your own device, enable remote, mobile, and contract employees, and streamline test and development processes. Since data is streamed to your devices in an encrypted format and not stored locally, Amazon Workspaces helps improve your security. And it helps you reduce costs and complexity by eliminating the need to build out on-premises infrastructure for legacy VDI deployments. Ta-da! Um, <laughs> deploy desktop in minutes. Twenty minutes doesn't really count as minutes to me, um, but but I get where you're headed. Um, and of course, once it's built, uh, it it fires up much faster. Yeah, VDI sounds like. Something you have to go to see a doctor for. Um, also, that song sounded a lot like uh, the ant word. The ant, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, uh, released an album uh, that was instrumental versions of their songs. That sounded a lot like that. Um, oh, I actually don't know how. Oh, I should have looked at that. I don't know how loud that was. It may have been super quiet because uh, I had the other music going and I stopped the other music. So we'll get the other music going. Um, I'm just killing time right now, folks. Uh, features. Desktop, mobile, and web access. Oh, so you can get to it from a website? That's cool. Chromebooks for high quality. Using Chrome or Firefox allows users to easily access the workspace on any network without needing to download the client first. That's kind of cool. That's, that's pretty cool. I don't know why you'd need it, but I like that you have it. Uh, pricing. That probably was up there the whole time, and I just totally missed it. Um, Windows machines. Uh, but yeah, so you can also... Uh, and if you're... Because they've got... So they've got EC2 instances, which are the the machines in the cloud, like the virtual servers, but these are like virtual desktops. And so you could, depending on what you need to do, like... I, so Yeah, so I guess if you needed to run... So if you've got a license... And you needed to run, so like I, I've got a license for Altrix, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I've got a license for Altrix. I don't have a Windows machine other than the OBS machine that I'm working on. Um, but I want to I want to be able to do this in the cloud. Um, by the way, it totally didn't occur to me that I actually had a Windows machine until I said I didn't have one, and then realized that that's actually what I'm on right now because I'm watching the Mac through the OBS. Um,
Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go check again. So I kind of like I could mess around with other stuff, but I like I'm trying to keep segments into their own thing. So when I post them on YouTube, um, they work as a as a thing. Still nobody there. Um, so I got nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and kind of keep streaming for a little bit until it shows up, and then I guess, yeah, I guess I'm gonna edit this uh, if I really want to put it up. Um, oh, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this stream for a minute when I'm ready to jump over to the next topic, um, just so I can kind of making my own edits in the mix. Because I'm trying to think about this both from the live perspective and also from the um, the on-demand perspective, because zero people are watching the stream right now. So actually, I don't know. I can't see the number, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's zero. Um, there is a slightly higher chance that people will watch, you know, for the infinity of time that it's on YouTube, somebody might run into it. So cheers to you. He says drinking a Sprite Zero. Um, Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, guys, I don't want to mess with anything else because, like, I've got I've got that whole I've got this whole list of stuff that I'm kind of ideas to play around with. Um, that's nice because that means my brain is gonna come back. Um, but like, I want to do those things independently. So, uh, and I don't want to play. So I did, um, whatever, folks, I'm just screwing around until it comes up. Uh, so the other night, I guess I could make animated GIFs right now. Um, you don't only want super high highs. You want your lows to keep getting progressively high. You don't want super high highs. Where'd my thing go? Channel the videos. Um, so I, that's not helpful. Oh, I'm gonna get myself in trouble here if I'm not careful. Good news is they had that streaming key. Well, you're having those types of days. Uh, locked down. Hopefully there's nothing here that I shouldn't show. I don't think it's gonna be. Yeah, but so I, um, oh, wonder how quick the uh, videos show up for the VOD. Is that kind of instant? Um, kind of cool. So, I made, uh, so I'm doing all these, I'm trying to be real careful with the music. Um, I've got some music that I've got that's, I'm allowed to, uh, or that's not, it's copyrighted, but it's, I've got permission to use it basically, or it's not, so it shouldn't get yanked off YouTube, or if it does, I've got licenses for it. Um, but then during the nights, what I'm doing a little bit just to kind of chill out is um, just making animated GIFs and when I'm doing that, I just put on Spotify. Actually, I probably shouldn't say this on stream, because uh, whatever. Um, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so we can make an animated GIF while we wait. Um, actually, let me leave that window open up there. That would be a smart thing to do, so I don't have to keep. It should just show up when I when something comes in. It's not there yet. Uh, Oops. I guess I should make that visible. Can I make that visible? Nope. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, make an animated GIF. Um, so current status. Waiting for AWS workspace. Oh, I know what I could do. Yeah, so I'm gonna, whoops, that didn't work. Uh, I guess what I'm gonna do, whatever, I'll just stream this for now. And then um, I'll actually go through 
and make a video of this. Well, I guess I could make the, the edit. Duh. Um, so yeah, now we're, this is the waiting game. Uh, let's see if I can type on the right keyboard. Uh, this is going to be banner text. That's what we're going to do. Let's read from a file. Whoops, cancel. You can't see this because I'm one level up. Ha 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 ha. Banner text. Banner text. Dot text. Uh, we go to OBS. Go to properties. Read from file. Read from file. Banner text. Banner text. Slight font. I tried another one a second ago and it's kind of alright. Oh god. Uh, let's try 72. I don't like that font. That's better. Uh, uh, nope. I should totally do Comic Sans. You do Courier. I want to do Courier. Georgia, all right? I can't remember. Yeah, I'll go with Georgia. Uh, okay. Banner text. Uh, let's drop the font color back a little bit. Up there. Wrong button. So what are we doing? Oh, uh, wrong keyboard. Waiting for AWS spaces to build. I fit. Cool. How about we make it 62 instead of 70, whatever it was. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, so you need to mess around with this, uh, with the OBS stuff a little bit more and just kind of figure out what I want to do with it and where. One change that I did make recently was oh, actually I didn't do it anymore. Um, huh? I guess that's okay. That just feels too lifted up. Yeah, I want to do this. And I goofed when I moved it earlier, I guess. Like I'm okay with the black bars being up there. Does that work? Yeah. Oh, it would be nice if that snapped that way. That's not bad. Uh, so I get rid of this. Well, I guess 
Yeah, see, I'm okay with that kind of black bar because it should just fade. Um, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Oh, hey, workspaces is done. Cool. That's called stalling for time. Um, do one other thing over here, maybe. I don't know about that top part. Uh, we can actually come down here and do yeah, so one of the things I want to do is have a Windows 10. Machine back up front. All right, so it's given me a link. Show you what's in the email um so just your administrators created a workspace for you there's a whole bunch of other crap in here but this is the important part follow steps really quickly get your workspace so uh complete your profile by downloading uh complete your user profile and download a workspace client to use the following link i truncated that link that goes like for six miles uh launch the client i have a specific registration code um and then log in with my username so uh, we're gonna do that so i'm gonna hide some stuff while i do this um, just because I don't know what's going to show up where. So bear with me one second. Oh, yeah, so I guess I should say for the edit, we just got the email from, it took about 15 minutes uh, for the Amazon process to build the virtual machine for us. Um, so let me show you when I click that link, uh, it gave me this, please set your workspace credentials. Uh, I ripped my email out, but we're going to put that back in over here for a second and I'm gonna make a password. Uh, Too many passwords. Too many passwords. Still paranoid that, like, I know when it's on this screen, nothing's showing up, but like, it still kind of freaks me out when I'm making passwords and using passwords and stuff. Oh, come on. once that's I swear to God that's a secure password but you want an uppercase letter
Cool. And so now it's just saying, oh, there's nothing down here that I shouldn't show. Um, download, hey, come here. So download. Sweet. I'll just make sure there's nothing in my downloads folder. Whoops, how do I do that? Actually, the other thing I should do is, so this is my checklist for Twitch. So I'm just going to check and make sure like there wouldn't be anything in there, but like occasionally I've got work stuff in there and not occasionally I often have work stuff in there. Um, what's that? Oh, okay. Uh, which just has some names in there that I don't want to flash. So now we've got a workspace packages. Now we've got it through the steps necessary to do this install. Correct. Just kind of keep hitting next here. Oops. Bit of ding, it says. keep it. So now, workspaces. PT tour workspaces, three credentials, okay. That doesn't make sense. Let me see. So I had, shit. Um, yeah, so I had it. When it does that install, it's supposed to install, or I thought it installed for your particular thing, but that was the one I did earlier that I was messing around with that I since deleted. Uh, Workspaces. Today, it's got something hung up in there. Change registration code. Aha, well, there's a registration code. Oh, okay, so it's actually giving me a drop down of registration codes that I've got. I don't know I did that. Um, I'm not worried that that one flashed. I've, I've destroyed that machine. Um, so I don't have to immediately go run and do shit with it. I'm just grabbing the other registration code here and putting it in. Let's try this one. Uh, yeah, sure, keep me logged in. No, don't keep me logged in. I don't know what that's there. Um, yeah, so you register against a machine and I've got a username and password. So probably I would prefer this not to show. Um, I guess I'll kill this machine. 
like you'd have to hack into Windows, but people can do that, and people can hack into anything. So uh, that's on workspaces. Oh, there you go. Uh, so this shouldn't be a public network. I'm still going to hit no, but I think this is behind the VPC, the virtual private cloud on Amazon's thing. Let's look that up. Uh, but anyways, there's my virtual machine. Um, like I said, that was good. that's super easy to do or whatever. Like it just takes time. Uh, you get it lined up, and now um, should have access out. It's a little laggy. Oh, uh, hotkeys are slightly different too. Um, There you go. You can talk to the world. I wish that would go to S by default. You're about to view pages over a secure connection. Any information you exchange with the site cannot be viewed by another user on the web. Do not show, like, it's a weird warning. Um, I don't know what version of Windows. Oh, there's a little happy face there. What is this? Um, oops, I should have looked at that. Oh, Amazon Work Docs. Oh, I'll bet this ties into some Amazon thing. I mean, obviously. But yeah, so there's there's my VM. Mm, that's interesting. I don't want to use it. Um, it's funny for me that this Windows 10 doesn't have, a, I guess it's maybe more of a corporate and locked down one that doesn't have edge on it or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to install all tricks now so that when I do the next, good Lord, contrary to those other flows being blocked by internet source security information. It uh, doesn't allow Bing. Content from the website listed below is being blocked by Internet Explorer Enhanced Security Configuration. It's blocking Bing. Except it made it through. I don't understand that. Check that in a second, but one month of free analytics. Altrix Designer. Let's get Altrix Designer. Oh, that's so weird. So <laughs> this is so weird. So I'm looking at the monitor of a Windows machine. Inside the Windows machine is OBS, which is showing me the screen of my Mac. Running on the Mac is uh, the Amazon Workspaces software that is showing me a Windows machine inside of it. Um, what I should do now is log on to my Linux server from here so that I'm like four levels deep. Uh, where's the download button? Download free trial. Free student editor. Here, free. Wait, well, mm, clicking, clicking. Clicking. I would like to download it. It's kind of the whole reason I'm here. Uh, all right, Altrix hooks.
Free download, download. Let's see if we go here. Nope. Is that gonna work? What am I missing? Actually, let's do this. See, I don't understand this stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's 64. But what's the difference between 64-bit MSI and 64-bit? Never known that. Yes, I can look it up. Download for a site that's not part of the trusted system. Oh god. Um, your trusted sites that might be different than the website you're viewing. I was about to reach up here and use my um, Windows keyboard because I was looking at a Windows machine. Hi, okay. Enable protect mode requires an app. Can we move that down? Nope. Not gonna move it down? Nope. Custom level. Oh, Jesus. Uh, restricted sites. Internet. Local internet, trusted sites. How do I move this? Wow. Oh, reset to, nope, high. How do I get this off of high? This is not what I was expecting. Um, .NET framework, .NET framework, ActiveX stuff, ActiveX stuff. Downloads, enable. Miscellaneous. So they sit, they ship you a pretty sh secure one apparently. Yes. Apply. Okay. Can I download? There we go. Wow, that was fast. Holy cow, did you see how fast that went? Oh, it's only 327K. This doesn't feel like Windows 10 for me for some reason. I mean, it is Windows 10, right? This is Windows 10. Looks like it there. I don't know. Yes. This is much more of a process than I was expecting in order to be able to fire it up. Um, Warn me if I go to example.com. Call them. No, it works. More secure DNS. Secure the routes DNS whenever possible. Protect your browser. Great. I like it. Let's do it. All tricks. 
Basically, I don't like going to the ads, which I guess I'm saving them pennies, but... Yeah, their site just doesn't work on... Oh god, I hate these things. Where is products? Designer. So I think I can just download the free trial. And then, oh, you gotta do all that bullshit. I've already got a license for it. I'm just, whatever. Um, Can you pull it without filling all that crap in? I'm sure you can't. Then let's start again. All right. Yeah, you just have to download the trial and put the thing in. All right, hang on. Five, fuck off. You don't know my company. I mean, it doesn't matter, but like, I just hate this shit. Rule. Other. Gross. I could use some help with, and it's a required field. Oh, enabling my team for best-in-class in anal analytics. Further my career as an analyst. Like, I just, oh, God. What's my postal code? I focus on, select all that apply. Whatever. <laughs> I put none for the name of the company. It says, please enter a valid name, a valid company name. I'm tempted to write fuck off because I hate these fucking forms, but um, some random thing. Look, I get I get why they do that. I just I'm frustrated by those forms. Like Oh, please God, let it start downloading. Admin. Beg your pardon. R base predictive tools advanced. Uh, I don't need the R base stuff. How much you want to bet it flashes my information here? Just in case. Oh, no, it didn't. But it might. I'm just doing the install. Um, oops. And now I have to kill that. Okay. Why was that over there?
blah, 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 stream manager. Where does it show? I guess I can do this. It's just installing. This is super boring, but whatever. It's part of how this stuff goes. It's just installing. Oh, actually, I don't have to hurry up and get all that stuff killed because there's still a username and password on top of that link. Um, cool, okay, yeah. I'll still kill it after this, but like, it's not, that's not a big deal, I don't have to rush. Because there is one person watching. Hello, one person. It might be a bot. Um, now we just wait for the install to happen. Yeah, so basically all this is, is getting set up for, like, I'm not going to post this one, this one's dumb. Um, but I'm just getting set up for kind of the next stream or the next cut that I'll do at the stream where I'm actually doing work. Um, this is work. This is how you get, like, this is part of the process of getting things going, right? But um, it's just not really actually coding. But this is what I need to do in order to do the coding. Um, it's just sit here and watch progress bars. Uh... What was I going to do? Oh yeah, so I've got building Windows 10 and this workspace. That's cool. I guess I could put, I just want to, I don't trust that thing to not show stuff after it finishes installing. Um, so I'm going to leave it sit for a minute. Uh, but what we can do in the meantime is Whoops, wrong keyboard. Byline. Eventually I'm gonna get two monitors set up, I think, so that then the keyboard will be over there. So when I move to the OBS one, it'll be like a distinct move. Um, and I am less likely to type on the wrong keyboard. Still installing, status. Do that. Uh, uh. That is a very large font. Still installing. That's better. Too right. It's finished installing, but I wanna, I'm want i here, so I'm going to do this real quick. Color. Come down here. Let's try that. I wish it would adjust as soon as you clicked it instead of having to hit OK first. Um, That's not how it works. Altrix install. It's asking me where to install it. Yes, I'll accept that. Installing. Validating install. Creating new folders, creating new files, creating new directories. I just don't I just don't trust it to not to like put stuff up here. Like once I get into it, it's cool once it's running. Again, so like we we did the the main part of this, right? So now it's just getting installs going, and then from there we'll actually work on the stuff. Which I'm ready to do, frankly, at this point. I'm gonna grab a drink while that installs.
Dylan Salling. Still installing. <sighs> Time for Cliff Bar. It's probably bad to eat on stream, but whatever. Good news is this isn't the mic. Otherwise you'd straight hear me chewing. I don't think I was gonna pick me up chewing. Move that over just a little bit. See, I don't know what else I should put over well, you can't see the mouse either way. Never mind. Over there. Um, I could put something over there, but like I don't know what it would be. Uh, need a background pattern. I was looking around for something, but didn't find any I like. Still installing. Sports, nature, playground, events, things, cute, cool colors, art. What art you got? That's not bad. That's not bad. They don't want it to be too in your face. It's kind of like some breakup pattern. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That would be cool. I'm of course not on the right machine to do these, but just kind of looking. Wait. Game. Installing Python dependencies. That's a good thing. We want Python. Hmm. I was going to bring up the Python stuff, but I don't want to do that either. Because when I stop and start the video again, that's where I'll kick off. Making notes of where I so on the OBS client. I've got the desktop audio, which is what has the music on it, back way down. 
so it's not overwhelming. I just need to listen to it and figure out where the balance of it is. It may be a little low, um, but it's, I can't, it, I don't have a good mental map on my head of where it is on the meter versus where it is when you do the mix. Still installing. I'm about to start making gifts again. I don't know what we can do. Oh, that's cool. I'm just looking for more videos to make gifts from. Oops, that's odd. That's pretty good. But yeah. Installing Python dependencies. Yeah, I did uh I don't think I've cut them out yet, but I'm gonna cut some gifts from back here. Uh, I did some last night from his WoW video. It was kind of fun. I right. whatever. This is just killing time. Like I, so, normally I would be looking at email or doing some other stuff right now, but because I'm casting, I'm just gonna mess around a little bit, um, and I'll wait until later to check email. It will be there. Uh, where did that go? Yeah, this is. I like it. Melty things. What was the one I was gonna? Oh yeah, my gun, the gunslinger. I like this guy. Still installing Python dependencies, by the way. I don't know why Chrome does that. Here's the gunslinger. Pretty cool. Excuse me. Yeah, this is some kind of cool stuff you could cut out of there. Uh, still installing Python dependencies. And that's the more horsepower machine. Why does it keep showing me so many videos that I've already seen before? Like, change it up a little bit. Yeah, one of the ones I've got on my list. Oh, actually, I should do that. I don't have one of those on my list. But uh, is uh, I use Penboard, which everybody should use. It's awesome. Um, but I throw in uh, music tags. And so one of the ones I want to do is grab, is tweet a random song every day um, based off the music tab. Like, it would... Go look at the music tab, because Pinboard has an API somewhere. Um, I think the music might be a little too soft. I hope it's not distracting in the background. Uh, I've got <laughs> 12 or 14 of these videos that I've done, and I haven't actually looked at any of them yet, so I need to check them out. Um, but I'll kick through the API, I'll grab the music tag, um, and then look... Uh, and then go through the Twitter API and make sure it's a YouTube video. And if it is, go through the Twitter API and post it. Um, actually, you know what I should do? Spotify API. So I built yesterday, um, I built hotkeys to start, stop, and then forward and back Spotify, which they're already media keys on the Mac, but they don't work consistently for me. So I built other ones and they're also easier to hit. Like it's more in a natural position. Uh, and then also I've got something now where you can fire off individual um, playlists and you could actually set that up with a hotkey too. Um, I'm going to make one of those that does random play, like select, selects a random playlist because I don't, I usually pick like the same four playlists even though I've got probably 50. Uh, so I'll bounce through those. That's on the list. 
And then the other one, what I want to do, but you can't unfortunately star stuff in Spotify um, through the API. Uh, this is just a digression, but it's at least it's programming stuff. So in what I'm using to do the Uh, the hotkeys is Apple Script through Keyboard Maestro, and like this is all that it is. That it's all it takes is tell application Spotify previous track, tell application Spotify play pause, um, and then you assign that to a hotkey. I was trying to see if you could set up a way to uh, favorite or to star a song with a hotkey. Just because like what I'd like to have happen is if I'm listening to a song, I don't know if it's been starred or not, uh, or favorited, whatever. Um, I want to be able to hit a hotkey and then have that hotkey talk to Spotify. If it's already starred, don't do anything. If it's not, star it. But that way you don't have to jump over to Spotify, look, click the thing, and then jump back. Or look, see that it's not there, and then jump back. Because either way, it's like it takes you out of what you're doing. I want to just be able to go kabam uh, and have that happen. So uh, what I was looking at was the script editor cancel um I think it's under window yeah under library it's for apple for apple's script editor uh let's see how i did this yes so if you if you open script editor you go under window and library um and then go to spotify which i had to add spotify in here with the little plus uh double click on it yeah there you go so this will show you the the dictionary. Still installing Python dependencies. That's a lot um, of stuff that you can do with uh, the, the Apple Script API. And so here's play pause. That's what we're, that's what we're using. C is, is commands. Um, I'm assuming that's what C stands for. Uh, previous got should previous. Maybe it's a verb. I don't know what the V is. Yeah, verbs and nouns, I guess, is what they're doing with this. Um, so next track, previous track, play pause, pause, play, play track. And play track is what you do for this um, playlist, because you can pass it a, a Spotify URL or URI. But for the track, which is the C, which is kind of the, the property um, or the nouns, it has uh, where to go? I thought it did. Yeah, it has it has a property that reads as starred, but I can't set that property, and so I need to be able to set it in order to to mess with it. At least I'm pretty sure I can. Um, I'll check that at some point, uh, maybe soon if that doesn't go. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm making an assumption on that. Spotify URL, yeah, there's no way you can change the that. These have to be locked in, right? Play. Yeah, see those, I'm sure, I'm guessing this is verb and then the other ones are nouns. And I'm guessing you can't do a thing with a noun. Um, let's mess around while this does its thing. Um, Spotify star attempt. We're gonna execute an Apple script. Uh, we're gonna close that because we're gonna come over here and just grab one of our previous ones. Start stop. I wonder what happens if Spotify isn't open and you try it. It launches. Wait, it was already up. Okay, it launches it, yeah. Um, tell application Spotify. See, I don't know how to do this in Apple Script. Come on, <laughs> install. Track. Okay, 
the list. Values and properties, fundamentals. Oh wow. Um, script objects, variables, and properties. Defining properties, local variables. This doesn't seem like what I'm looking to do. It's the set. Set. I don't think we can set this stuff. Script objects. Here's where you do a property. Script the point property and setting that's setting a property. Property of file track one. Hmm. Don't know how you go down a level. So I'll get properties of file. Still installing. Is that alive? It certainly appears to be. It's been an hour or so. Uh, this might go down in history as one of the most boring streams ever. So, huzzah. Get properties of file track one. Get properties. Let's see what happens if we do that. Back at work. Oops. So when you put it on another line, you'll need to um, just try this. Okay, get properties of track. Um, Oh, you know what I should do? Uh... Oh, wait. Did it just finish? Run all tricks now. We got all tricks alive. Uh, I'm not gonna put my key in right now because this isn't gonna last that long. In order to license, in order to license and use, continue registration. What? Oh, start for draw. God damn it! All right, I'll put in my key.
Jesus Christ. Like, I've got a username and a password. You don't need my phone number. What do you mean it's invalid? Oh my god. That's not invalid. This is also part of you know dev work, right? Big, it's how corporate software stuff works. I just don't like it. They're trying to get all this, ironically, trying to get all this information from you so their salespeople can reach out. Like, Fuck you with the email address. I mean, with the physical address. I just, that's all gross. Your trial has been activated. Get ready to drag, drop, and solve. You must complete the registration in order to license. I just did that. I'm stuck in a loop. spinning. I don't know what's going on. I filled in the trial registration and then it said you have to complete the registration. But then I hit exit and now it's spinning. So maybe it's doing something. Yeah, this is one of those dumb things. So I've spent about an hour and a half just trying to get the software set up so that I can actually do the development that I need to do. Um, but that's part of it. Um, yeah, this I'm not posting this one on YouTube. Like, there's no point. There's nothing going on here. Downloader's not responding.
Oh my god, and now it's just in. <laughs> it brought up the thing for asking for a license key again. I tried to do it again, it still said invalid, and now it's just working. Oh my god. Um, Alright, I'm going to stop the stream for a minute, because this one's all crap. And then, um, come back in just a minute with, uh, is anybody even watching? Um, with actually digging into the Valtric stuff and seeing what's going on. I should put, that's not the one I wanted. Excuse me. Eat on stream, that's a good idea. I should have something over here that shows me the number of followers or number of people watching. It says one. Oh, I'm the one. I've got the thing up. Ha! So, all right, me. I'll be back in a minute. Let me close all this stuff down just to get a clean start going. Cool. All right. Be right back. <laughs> 